I'm on your side. Remember? He got, got away. away. Who got away? John Cortez. See the one who was setting these fires? Freeze! Put your weapon on the ground, raise your hands above your head slowly. D? I got a call about a suspicious fire. I had a hunch you might be involved. He's just trying to help. Then he can prove that by turning himself in. Step aside, Renee. No. Go! Damn it! I'm sorry, D, but I just couldn't let you arrest him. Turn around. What? Turn around! Are you kidding me? I warned you the last time. I asked you to trust me. Said you just actively tampered with my investigation, so now I have no choice. Are you serious? Renee Ramirez, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law, so I suggest you shut the hell up. Let's go. Good morning. Please state your name. Oliver Queen. You were just now meditating. Where did you learn to do that? Hong Kong. Who taught you? Tatsuya Mashiro. When we last spoke, you mentioned your father killed a man, Hackett, so you could live. That's right. I feel like my father had to make an impossible choice. An impossible choice? Yes. How do you think your son would feel if he knew his grandfather was a murderer? Dr. Parker, please leave my son out of this, please. At times, love can blind a person to the harm they're inflicting on their families, the cycle of violence they're creating that they've learned from their own parents. I would never intentionally harm my son. Did you know that children of the incarcerated are three times more likely to enter the justice system than children of non-offenders? Well, he was nothing like me. That may be true. But what effect do you think you're having on William? I think he's alive. Alive, but with no father, his mother dead and no home? Does that sound like a good life? No, it doesn't. Everything that I've done, I've, I've done for my son. I don't doubt that. But it is my duty to point out uncomfortable truths so that you can reform yourself so that you can become the man you want to be for your son. You created your vigilante persona so that you could avenge your father's wrongs. Isn't any part of you concerned that William will take your lead and become a murderer just like you? Then listen to me. That promise to your father was made when you were vulnerable and desperate. It tainted your mission from the start, infecting you and now your son. It wasn't fair of your father to ask what he did of you. You must let go of the past. Only then can you spare your family from paying for your sins. Go to hell. He's not responding. 